We have 50% of the districts reporting. The vote is now 6,533 for Mike McMahon, 1,330 for Steve Harris. Robleski, the political editor of the Staten Island Events. We are here with City Councilman Michael McMahon, the winner tonight of the Democratic Congressional Primary. Congratulations. Uh, quite a resounding win tonight. How do you explain how it happened? Well, uh, you know, it, it was a great campaign that we ran, uh, built on uh, two things, really, our message about change we can trust, and also my record in the City Council. Uh, we've accomplished a great deal in seven years, working together with the Republicans and the conservatives and the independents uh, to bring real results to the people in Staten Island, whether it was putting together a garbage plan for the city that would ensure that the Fresh Kills landfill would be closed forever, whether it was passing a bill to get more ferry service, whether it was passing a bill to put nurses in every school, whether it was working to, to, to hold down uh, the, the uh, uh, to keep the cut for real estate taxes and the homeowner rebate, we've accomplished a lot. So I think based on that, uh, based on my vision for what to do in Congress, the people came out and said, Mike's our guy. Obviously, your primary opponent, Steve Harrison, and also uh, some administrator have already talked about the tax issue, the property tax hike issue. Obviously, it's going to be an issue in the campaign. How do you uh, intend to address that when it does come up in the, in the campaign? Look, I, I make no bones about it. When this city was attacked on 9-11, uh, they broke our hearts. They also broke our backs financially. The city was in a shambles. Uh, we had a budget deficit of $7 billion out of $16 billion that we ran the city with. If we didn't do something, we would have slid back to the times of the 70s and the 80s, which not all of your viewers will remember, but certainly you and I remember, when the city was in bad shape. I didn't want that to happen, so I took a vote uh, on principle uh, in the belief that uh, no, no, no uh, politician wants to vote for tax hikes, but it was an emergency, we had to do it. Since then, we've given back 15% uh, over two years, as well as the rebates, and I'm proud of my record. I'm proud of working with Mayor Bloomberg, a Republican at the time, and putting the city in good financial stead. Now we see a rejuvenated Democratic Party. It's been 30 years since, or almost, since the party held the congressional seat. But we also see the borough president here, Jim Molinero, who's a conservative. We see some notable Republicans here. I mean, what, do you, what is your take on, you know, the crowd that you've uh, drawn here tonight? You know, Tom, it's an incredible crowd. Uh, not only the, the important political figures who you mentioned, but there's a cross-section of people from every part of this borough. So many friends from Brooklyn came out tonight. Uh, uh, you know, across the spectrum, and it's just reflective of the great diversity of our borough, of this district. And I'm, as I stood up here tonight, I was really floored by the amount of people uh, and what they represent and how strong they are uh, as, as part of this community. And, and with their support, I think we'll be very successful. Councilman, thank you. Thank you, Tom. Thank you very much.